Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this RKS87 Retro Mechanical Typewriter keyboard with beautiful illumination. You can see, you can change the colors. You have also the colors on the side, on both of the sides. The only thing which you have to know that there is no illumination for the numbers and letters, but you have a lot of special functions. I mean, we can already directly change the colors from the keyboard with the FN and different keys but it comes also with a free software where you can customize all the colors as you wish and what I also like is that it comes with a really nice stand even two level stand with really nice soft rubber feet so it has super safe stand by the way 87 keys are my preferred keyboard size so I really love the style and design. We have also a lot of multimedia keys here already included, for example, for email or video control. And the connection is USB. So we have some USB ports here. One of them is USB-C, comes with this cable, goes into either USB-A or USB-C of your computer or Android tablet or whatsoever. It supports pretty much all of the operating systems. But we have even two free ports here, one USB-C and one USB-A, which can use to charge some devices or even plug them in like a mouse or your mobile phone or USB stick. You can directly use it for your computer. Here we have the blue switches, which I love because they give some feedback like hearable and also we can feel that but definitely not too much just about right the whole set comes even with some replacement switches and a tool to replace that so i'm going to show you now everything what you get in the box and how to connect it to a computer and how to use it and so here we have the box there is a little bit of description here in the back but let's open and see what we get so here we are comes nicely protected also includes a user manual so here's some description about the wiring about the connection custom back lid backlit control multimedia function keys for windows and other system so when we look at it it is really solid built it's quite heavy which is good we have also this kick stand and it has two different levels. We can use the smaller one here inside. You can see it's not so high. We can also use the higher one. That's awesome. I don't see this with every keyboard. Quite a lot of such keyboards still come without such a stand and definitely not one with two levels. That's really hard to find, I would say, in 2023. And what's also awesome that it comes also with soft rubber feet. We have four of them in all the four corners. Also here for the main stand. Let's see for the smaller, even for the smaller ones. That's an awesome thing. Yeah, really quite some weight, solid build. Here we have it from the side. Beautiful one. Here we can hear the clicking sound. So the clicking sound is not very loud. We have the blue switches, which you can hear and feel. So I would say, yeah, they work really nice. You can hear them, but they are not too loud. So I would say blue switches, definitely good choice. And then get the accessories, the USB connection cable. We get even four replacement switches. That's also something which doesn't come with every keyboard. And we get this tool to replace the switches. And so let's see how easy we can use these tools if we need to replace something. So we are using this side here to go underneath the key. They hold it and pull it out very easy. So we have it here. So we have access to the switch now. And so we grab from the top and from the bottom. Hold it like that and so we can pull it out easily. A really awesome thing that we have these replacement switches. I see this over and over that these switches are having a problem. I mean, usually it's just a cleaning thing because there is some dust inside. You remove the cap and uh, use a duster and put it back and usually it works. But in case there is some problem with the switch, you can replace it easily using this tool here. And of course, also easy to put it back, but you have to make sure that we align these pins here properly. So I think it has a good match here. Push it down and then we put back the key cap. Just push it down in the middle. So nicely centered and everything works again. 
So let's try to connect this keyboard to this laptop. I mean, this laptop is really nice, but the keyboard is pretty limited. So for gaming or longer typing, it's definitely not suitable. Much better with such a keyboard. And the connection cable is very interesting. We have a two-in-one. We have the possibility to use USB-C or USB-A on the host side. So I'm using here USB-A. And on the keyboard, I'm using this one here. So you can see it illuminates automatically and it says setting up a device. So let's open a notepad here and see if you can use it right away. You can see uh, absolutely awesome. Yeah, this works definitely right out of the box, even before we get the confirmation here. Maybe interesting regarding the USB ports, I've been connecting this USB port here, the one in the middle, to my LG smartphone, Android phone, and it was able to charge and transmit data to this laptop. So it looks like we cannot only use it for charging, but also for data. And of course, this USB-A port here as well. So you can see now the USB stick shows up here. And so when I turn off the light, you can see it is wonderful illuminated here from the top and also from the sides. An absolute beauty. But something which we don't have is a keycaps illumination. You can see there are no letters, no numbers. So either you know everything, you don't have to look at the keycaps or you need some decent illumination to use this keyboard. That's something which you have to know, of course. Regarding the colors, you can do some changes directly here on the keyboard. When we press the FN, for example, the pause, you can see we have some really nice different colors. And we can also change the modes here with FN up and left. But of course, we have many more options than that. But for that, we have to install the software. So I've downloaded it already. So I turn on the light again at the stick here. By the way, the link to download the software is on the Amazon listing, but I'll also add it either to the description of the video or down to the feedback or comment area. And after downloading and unzipping, I've also checked the installer for viruses and it didn't find anything. So it looks like it's perfectly safe. And so here's the installer. I double click on that. And so we have to click on yes. I select the language, so we close this again, click on next, install, select a pass, give it a name and click on install and finish and run it. And so we have the installation software and you can see we have so many options. So we can add different profiles and especially here on the left side, we can change all the lighting settings. So I turn this off again, so you can see that maybe a little bit better what we have. So we have really a ton of different lighting settings. That's incredible. There's probably nothing we cannot find here in the options. Of course, you can also use steady single color, something like that. And so I've been using it now a little bit for typing and gaming, and I can definitely confirm that it's a really good keyboard. I love the typing with the blue switches. Also, gaming gives really nice feedback, not too loud. Really, the only thing which you have to be aware of that there are no illuminated letters or numbers. But other than that, it's an awesome thing. So if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.